BoxingVoice.com, we are here with heavyweight contender Chris Ariola. Chris, at the press conference here, I mean, you guys seem respectable. I mean, respectful to each other, but, you know, sooner or later, it's time to get in the ring. Like, talk about this fight with Bermain. See, like, like I was saying, man, I don't need to be talking shit about him. He doesn't need to be talking shit about me. We respect each other. Come fight time, it's going to be a whole different story, man. Shit. It's going to be an exciting fight. I, I know that for a fact. It's going to be a, a Holyfield Bowl type fight. It's the type of fight that people are going to want to be watching. You know, many people don't know about Bermain, but he's a tough motherfucker. You know, he has a lot of amateur fights. You know, um, he he has a one knockout, one knockout power punch type of thing. The equal, the great equalizer, but as do I. You know, the thing that favors me the most is the experience as far as uh, that comp the competition that I faced. But you can't take nothing away from a hungry fighter. I mean, fights few weeks away but obviously there were so many cancellations so many postponements I mean talk about that I mean like how frustrated were you with this I mean we were used to seeing you six times a year like last year yeah man you see what it was very frustrating extremely but my job's to fight well I can't do nothing about it there's nothing I could do about it but to just be like all right send me some money <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean like that's all I could do but I hey fuck you're going to tell me you're going to push back another week? All right, well, another month. All right, well, you got to pay me for this month because, man, it sucks. I fucking got to get a job. got to do something. It's, it, that's the only part, the, the waiting part. Now, WBC eliminator, obviously, winner fights Vitaly. Rumors out there, Vitaly might retire soon. I mean, what's the outlook for you? I mean, if it's not Vitaly, is it Vladimir? Maybe even Povetkin. What's your outlook? My outlook is the title. That's, that's my, my, my main goal. You know, if, if Vitaly retires good he retires you know it's time for him to retire he's old you know he's old but he's still doing his thing and if he wants to fight me i'll fight him i'm more than gladly will fight him but it's time there's always a time for somebody and it's a dawn of a new era it's gonna be me once i win this title i'm gonna take the t uh, vladimir's title i wanted my goal for this year er, is to be an undisputed heavyweight champion that's the goal that's that's the motivation for my for this year now, how do you see the, the landscape of the division? I mean, obviously, it's been ruled by two guys now, but then you got guys like Jennings, you got Wilder. I mean, obviously, Price lost, but you still have uh, Tyson Fury coming up, Steve Cunningham. I mean, there, there should be some excitement in this division. There's a lot of excitement, man, especially once these, uh, um, at least one of the clutch goes uh, steps away. There's going to be a lot of competition, a lot of people going to be fighting for the number one spot. And the thing about it is that promoters need to make fights like me and Severn, one versus two three versus four, whatever it is, there needs to be fights like this. That's why people don't want to watch some more fucking boxing because you see Klitschko fighting a number 15 ranked guy. You know, nobody want to see that shit. They want to see him fight like someone in the top five. You know, that's that's what boxing needs to do. That's what promoters need to do. That's what my promoter Dan and, and uh, uh, my promoter Dan Goosen and uh, Don King going to do is, is put two, uh, two major heavyweights and make them go at it. That's what the, just like the Super Six, want to have it in the heavyweight division. Now, obviously, you mentioned the Super Six and Showtime. Uh, you know, recently, Showtime cut their time. HBO cut their ties off with Golden Boy. Uh, you're with Al Heyman, and Al Heyman and Golden Boy, pretty much a tight-knit group. You're on HBO. I mean, has there been any rumblings of, like, you not being on HBO after this because you're with Al Heyman and his close relationship with Golden Boy? No, man, not, not at all, man. And honestly, like, I love fighting on HBO. I love fighting. I, I like fighting on t TV, period. But HBO is a place to be, man. Like when when you, when I was a kid, I would watch TV on HBO. I would watch boxing on HBO. There wasn't like really no Showtime boxing. HBO was where it was at. So I'm honored and and blessed to still be part of the HBO crew. And finally, uh, what are you gonna eat after this? Some tacos and some micheladas? <laughs> after after the fight, for sure. After the fight, that's what I'm, I'm gonna go get me some mariscos, some fucking. Uh, Anyways, uh, now, right now, I'll probably go give me a steak. I've been wanting a steak. That's what I want right now. Well, there you have it. Don't miss this fight. April 28th, 27th, excuse me, on HBO, Boxing Before Dark. Chris Ariola, BoxingVoice.com. Thank you, Doc.